So, uh, hi everybody. Um, hello everybody. <laughs> uh, so, um, uh, the slides are from Maker Faire because uh, I just came from Maker Faire two days ago. <laughs> and so, um, uh, I, I thought I just uh, used the same slides. Uh, but uh, uh, we'll go through. Okay. So, um, uh, the talk is about car stacks. Uh, what is car stacks? Car stacks is an assistive device. And uh, so it's an assistive device to help uh, those with very little vision lab or no vision altogether to do text editing. The system to keep track of the position of the slider and then uh, pull out the corresponding part of the text and pass it to text to speech. So it looks uh, a little bit something like this. Okay. Yeah, so uh, I zoomed in on the device there. Uh, I think you can see three sliders. Um, the first one is the um, vertical one. So this is what's switching or reading between lines, or uh, reading line by line. So as, I, as the user slides it from top to bottom, the system will pick up, uh, will read up the text line by line from first line to the last line. And uh, the uh, upper horizontal slider is for reading between words in a line. So, um, and the third one is for reading character by character in a word, which is in a line. Okay. So I've got a little demo, and uh, this is pre-recorded, um, but we'll, we'll have a look. Okay, it has a web interface, and um, the web interface is for importing text. So I'm accessing the web interface uh, via a tablet, and uh, there are already some text uh, pre uh, typed in uh, earlier on before I hit the record button, and that's the text. Uh, basically, an incomplete, incomplete sentences that we're going to complete. Um, sorry, <laughs> let's turn up the audio a little bit. Um, can, can everybody hear that? Can I louder or no? Louder, okay. Okay, this almost max already. Um, okay. Try playing it. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then I can. Okay. Yeah. So let's change it to that. Um, yeah. Okay. Play that again. Okay. Um. You text is available. Okay. Cool. Um, it's a little crappy, but um, never mind. It's it's Linux, so um, yeah. Okay. Um, 
So uh, the text that's imported is are incomplete sentences, and uh, I, I will complete those sentences uh, using curse text. So this demo is text import uh, and at the same time uh, text editing using uh, curse text. So um, okay, so uh, we can see that the uh, text that was imported uh, is displayed on the on the on the on the on the tablet. Uh, there's a there's a there's a place for the user to. Um, uh, read an enlarged font size, uh, enlarged version of the text, okay, and uh, that updates um, uh, real time as the user types and as the user moves the sliders. So uh, it will be useful for people with low vision because uh, they they can see it, but they need to see things big. Hi, my name is. I'm an situation. At means. So uh, as I slide the slider, the line slider uh, from the first line, the second line, third line, it, it reads out the content of the first line, the second line, the third line, right? I'm an, uh, I'm yes. My name is. And then my my name name. Okay, and then this is uh, I, I'm going through word by word in that line, right? The, the that line has the three words in it. Hi, my name is. Uh, it was resting on position one, and then I slide it to position two, then it pull out the second word, right? Name my, and then I slide it for season three. It, it uh, pull out uh, the third word. Name uh, is. Is is. Okay, then. Um, uh, to do text editing, uh, we, we just I'm just uh, going to add uh, chorus text to the end of the line. So, so hi, my name is chorus text. So how to do that? Uh, I have to navigate all the way to the uh, to the last character of the on that line. So uh, now I, I I move the slider all the way to the last word on the line, and then move the character slider all the way to the last uh, character on that word. Yes, yes. Okay, then we had the quit sound, uh, that means it's resting on a blank space. And then I'm typing stuff in. Space, space, T, T. Space is to end. A, O, O, R, R, U, U, T, T, E, X, X. Okay, so the, you see the character slider move as I type? So I type one character, the, 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 the guy advances one step. I type two characters, the guy advances two steps, and so on. G, G. Okay. And then uh, I'm just going to repeat I'm the I'm rest of the uh, line. So it's just the same thing. Uh, 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 we're just going to see it one more time. And then. Taste, taste, Okay, I think uh, that's that's the demo video. I have the device here, but uh, not enough time to set it up. But uh, we can always play with it later after this, provided we have the time and uh, we can stay in the room. <laughs> right. So. That's the demo, and then the components um, is there. Um, we're just gonna uh, briefly go through it, right? Um, okay. And the software components: um, Arduino, Node.js, eSpeak, and uh, so the philosophy. Um, uh, the philosophy is um, I'm trying to make it as interchangeable as possible. The hardware components and. Um, I mean, I, I get feedback from people saying that, "Hey, David, uh, you know, you can you can combine the Arduino 
with the motor shield and, and probably uh, uh, um, with the with the Singapore computer as well. So you have one big board and you can save costs that way. And those people are right. They give good feedback. They are very keen. They have they have, they, have, they have good eyesight. I mean I mean not good eyesight, but <laughs> they have. I mean yeah they, yeah they they have good advice. Right? Uh, but uh, I think. Uh, Right now, what we need more is uh, to education first, because if, if I put everything in a one big board, uh, it becomes a big black box. And no, uh, people don't know where to start, right? Uh, but if, the, if it's modular, you, you can see the Arduino microcontroller, and you, ha you have the shield. And can, if your shield is broken, for example, you can just take out the shield, swap in a new one, and then uh, keep on going, right? Uh, so right now, I think the focus should be education first and economy second, uh, because uh, assistive devices are things that so few people play with, and uh, I think uh, the, we should make, try to make it as easy as possible for as many people as possible to uh, 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 tinker with this. And so, um, so that's kind of the philosophy behind it. Um, Then uh, why, why? <laughs> now, what's the goal, right? Uh, what for, right? I mean, uh, the goal is that uh, in 20 years' time, uh, this problem, the problem where uh, I have lousy eyesight and I must edit some text, uh, should become a non-issue, right? I mean, we look at handphones, uh, 20, not even 20 years, I still remember my first handphone, it was bulky, with antennas poking out and stuff. But today's handphone is like, well, so slim and, and it plays, uh, I, I video and I can do web browsing and all that. And it's just not it, that's not even twenty years, right? So, uh, so, so, so for car sex, I'm hoping uh, you know the same kind of progress can can happen. Okay, um, um, and of course uh, the mass is a library solution, uh, so library is important. Um, and then okay, um, so. This is the exciting part. So, uh, so everybody now have a pretty good understanding how the device works, right? Right? Okay. So, okay. So um, now that we have a system uh, that people can, uh, you know, uh, do text editing uh, comfortably and uh, effectively, uh, actually the door opens up to many more uh, new possibilities, right? Um, um, for example, social messaging. Um, you know, if we, if we can't see, we don't travel as much, and so we are probably not in touch with our friends as much. But if we can't physically be with our friends, at least we should be able to send and receive messages with each other, right? So uh, going forward, uh, one of the uh, very, uh, one of the immediate things to be implemented is uh, some kind of social messaging um, capability. Uh, I'm looking at uh, uh, integration uh, with Telegram. Uh, or, or WeChat. Does anybody know if WeChat uh, allows that? Like, uh, uh, have APIs for developers to integrate their own apps? Um, or, well, never, never mind. How about Telegram? Anybody played with Telegram before? Okay, cool, cool. So, yeah. So, that's, that's one of the things I'm looking at. So, I might be asking you questions later on if you don't mind. <laughs> okay, so. Um, and then Wikipedia Reader, uh, we can get the content of Wikipedia, they, they have API, um, and then uh, collaborative document editing, you know, um, I think it depends light, but uh, instead of uh, everything happening at one keystroke at a time, maybe the update happens at one line at a time. Um, uh, integration to standard GUI desktop, uh, so um, you know, uh, with the screen reader. Uh, so screen reader is very floating, right? It reads something, and then, brr, 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 then it's gone. The moment it's, it finishes, it's gone, right? Um, uh, but with with with, with color specs, we can we can so called make the text replayable and uh, we can drill down to the level of uh, the spelling, character by character spelling, right? Uh, and of course, uh, integration with uh, keyboard, uh, 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 text input, um, and like imagine you, you go to a web browser and you type something and then 
the course text also have a physical representation of the text. Okay. Uh, integrated development environment. So somebody from this uh, meetup, actually, uh, Kyung, um, I don't know if you're here. Uh, so he mentioned about, uh, uh, hey, you know, text are just, uh, source codes are just text anyway, right? You, you, can, you can do text well, and you can do source code, right? So, uh, well, who knows, right? One day. So, uh, and, and one more thing. Um, yeah, so uh, uh, so we, we all know this instrument, right? The Chinese uh, traditional instrument. So uh, what kind of music does it play? Uh, the traditional Chinese music, you know, the Tai Chi music, the, 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 the gentle breeze by the uh, cool lake, people playing Tai Chi, Qi Gong, that kind of slow, slow music. So, um, well, um, uh, I was going to play a video, but I guess we don't have time for that. But this is... Uh, uh, a, a musician from Korea, Gaya Gyum Luna, um, but she uses uh, uh, the kuchen, the traditional Chinese instrument, to play music anything that is that anything but traditional. So uh, she she plays Santana music and uh, Eagles Hotel California with with using the kuchen and also the uh, uh, ACDC. Uh, quite surprisingly, <laughs> so uh, check it out. I mean. Uh, She's on YouTube, and you can see dozens of her, 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 her recordings. Um, so uh, back to chorus text. So one musical, just just as how one musical instrument can play many many kinds of um, many many genres of music. Um, uh, you know, chorus text. Don't don't look at it as just a, a device for helping people with visually impaired. Like we can we can we can. I mean, the hardware is like that. But you know, one hardware we can load many software on it, right? It can be a device for young children to learn spelling and how to read, uh, and, and so on, and, and other things. Maybe I don't know uh, a mixer board, a, co a, a controlling, a control board for a smartphone, for example, or maybe some other ideas. You know, um, right? So the pain points. Um, every project has got its pain points. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to share with you a couple. Um, one is uh, the acrylic enclosure. Um, this looks simple because the acrylic closure is, uh, you know, the, there's no moving parts in it. It's, it's the uh, static part. Like, what's interesting about it? What's so important about it? Right? But it's, it's where all the other components mount, right? right? If you don't have an enclosure, uh, we don't have a device. <laughs> all we have is, is, is uh, you know, 10 or 12 uh, components uh, jumbled up, uh, tangled up in a cable. Okay. And. Um, and uh, well, right now uh, we can do acrylic laser cutting at C Studio, but uh, the minimum order quantity is uh, five piece. And, and uh, for for the core text enclosure, uh, we use uh, at least three design files: one for the top, one for the bottom, and for the sides. Mm -hmm. And uh, one design file uh, minimum quantity is five piece. And the price is like fifty-four US dollars. So upfront, the guy is gonna pay like at least one hundred seventy dollars um, for five sets, right? So, so uh, this is one of the pain points. So uh, it would be ideal if uh, you know locally in Singapore, there, if if there are you know if organizations who have laser cutters who, who can um, so-called um, uh, uh, provide the service for people to purchase. Uh, one set, uh, kit, kit for one set rather than uh, for five sets, and you know maybe we can do something like you know core stack organization device. Uh, they can engrave their organization's name on the on the piece of acrylic that they subsidize and things like that. So yeah, so that's one pain point. Um, the other pain point is <laughs> so we, we we have all seen that uh, there's uh, many. Uh, uh, promising paths lie ahead, but uh, there's just one developer right now, <laughs> uh, which is uh, kind of why I'm doing this. Uh, spread the news to as many people as uh, as possible, and uh, hopefully, you know, uh, we form a community. Uh, yes, yes, please. Have you thought of starting a Kickstarter? A Kickstarter, yes. Uh, uh -huh. That's a very good idea. Um, um, uh, well, I have put some thought into it. Um, the 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 thing that is uh, bad in my mind is that uh, you know um, 
for such a project, uh, you know, if I if I if I go to Kickstarter, this project is going to compete with drones and you know, three uh, D printers and all all the other cooler stuff, and uh, it's going to be a little hard um, uh, unless unless you know um, some unless I've done my homework, like um, like uh, you know, people. Before people would contribute, people would ask, "Hey, who's this guy? Is he for real? Is he going to be here tomorrow after I give my, my support?" You know, uh, that that kind of thing. So um, one day, one day, uh, we'll, I probably do a Kickstarter. So, um, but that's a good option. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> and uh, and uh, yeah, so uh, and uh, up next is a, a little poem. I mean, English is not my first. Language, but uh, let's just try anyway, right? Okay, <laughs> um, uh, so the plans reveal, the map unfurl, uh, wait not to start, doubt not to take part. Uh, from all corners of the world, step forth, you who hack with heart. So, uh, so thank you. Uh, th that's dedicated to uh, the hackers who are not nameable right now because they haven't shown up yet. So okay, so um, uh, let's look at the uh, uh, Node.js part. So, um, hang on. Yeah, so the, on the left is the uh, device, and uh, in the device I have the Arduino on the uh, lower mm -hmm. left. Uh, it's doing, uh, it's hooked up to sensors and motors, and uh, it's communicating with the uh, uh, main app, uh, Corsex Client JS, uh, through Node Serial Port. And then there's uh, two modules, there are two modules, uh, Cors Speech. Uh, at the top there, uh, which is the one responsible for communicating with eSpeak, uh, spawning child process, and uh, killing them. And, uh, and uh, the course document is for uh, updating the document and uh, tracking the position of the cursor. And uh, there's a web interface and uh, API for getting uh, as importing and exporting text and accessible from uh, smartphone, tablets, laptops, and uh, other applications like, like for example, the desktop uh, integration would want to be able to import and export text to and from the device. And uh, the server component is not uh, done yet right now. So, um, so far, I've been the only one talking. Uh, any questions so far? Any thoughts? I mean, anything. <laughs> well, uh, thanks, thanks. So, yeah, the, just, 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 you know. <laughs> Anybody? Yeah, yeah, please. So what's actually running on the Arduino? Okay, what's running on the Arduino? Uh, Arduino code to uh, uh, start and stop motor and uh, listen for uh, 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 button presses, uh, sliding, uh, changes in the sliders, positions, and uh, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, is this written in Node or? So, I'm sorry? Is this written in Node on the Arduino or is it uh, assembly? Uh, no, the Arduino is just Arduino. So it's just a standard Arduino uh, communicating over serial with uh, USB. Uh, so it's just just like uh, how people uh, the same the same the same channel like hooking up Arduino with Python or, or uh, with uh, processing in Java. Um, can, we, can, we, can we see that part? Uh, okay, sure, sure. Mm, the code is messy, so. <laughs> Yeah, 
it opens up in this one. So, Arduino, okay. So, um, I hope I navigate to the right place. So, uh, my own vision is not that good. <laughs> so, I'm just going to. So, yeah, that's, that's about it. Uh, I'm using a um, uh, library, a uh, node serial port library from uh, a guy on GitHub. His nickname is uh, Voodoo Tiki God. So, uh, I think he's, he's, he's quite close with uh, uh, the Johnny5 uh, uh, project, I think, if he's not the guy behind it. He's one of the guys in it. So, yeah, uh, he has got examples and stuff how to, how to get and I'm doing a talking to Node.js and then uh, um, the repo is on uh, github.com slash kurakuradave slash chorus text and um, so uh, if this is too small you, 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 you got your computer up already you want to see a bigger screen then Feel free to go to the repo. Okay, so I'm I'm not really a, a JavaScript ninja by any measure. So I, I'm just somebody who uh, uh, just have a passion for an interest and uh, just stay in front of the screen too too many hours. <laughs> so um, uh, the thing is, um, I feel uh, um, I mean. Um, uh, uh, I need I need I need help from you guys. Uh, the, the the brain capital in this room is amazing. Right? Um, so uh, if you got uh, like I don't know in, in weekends uh, you got one hour to kill, uh, feel free to go into the repo and uh, you know poke around and then uh, send me send me send me notification, send me email and say hey David, uh, I think you should check out this and this and this or or if you know a better way, you know you can teach me, right? Um, one way uh, there are two ways to 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 work on a number of developers. Like one is to uh, you know, add more candles or upgrade the candle to a torch, right? Uh, uh, if 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 uh, you guys have the time to jump in full time, that's great, that's lovely, that's wonderful. Nothing could be better. But if you don't have, uh, all you have is one hour, two hour, that's also fine, right? I mean, uh, uh, you can also teach me. <laughs> so uh, and, and I make sure I, I, I just just send me some pointers and like, hey David, I think you should really check out uh, this and that topic and. And, and I go dig it out, and, and and the code will improve eventually. So, yeah. Um, questions? And do we do we still have time? And I have I, have I uh, exceeded time? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Cool, cool. So, yeah, so that's that then. Thank you so much. Thank you for listening to me. Thank you.